Hey everyone, it's Marella Manelli here, and today I'm gonna show you how to achieve low maintenance highlights using all Kenra colors. So stay tuned and check it out. This is my model, Emily, and she is a hair color virgin. What she's really looking to achieve today is some low maintenance highlights. So we're gonna go in with permanent hair color so that way we can lift and deposit all in one step using all Kenra color. Now I've already pre-sectioned Emily's hair and you can see she naturally wears her hair right down the center. So I decided to utilize that natural part. And then right here on the sides, I just brought it down about a half an inch on her hairline so that way we can really create that money piece to make it pop. And then taking her section right back here on the occipital, making a U-shaped section right in the back and then just tucking away these two sections so it'll give me a nice clean working space. For this project, I'll be using Kenra Color 8ROM and 6A with equal parts of 30 volume developer. Since she's a natural level five and I only need two levels of lift, 30 volume is the perfect choice for this low ammonia hair color line. The reason why we're using 6A in her formula is so that way we can help neutralize any of those unwanted undertones as we're lifting those two levels. And the 8ROM is just to give that slight light reflection of that metallic-y pink finish. The end result that she's hoping for is something that's natural and warm with a rosy finish, which I felt this formula was the perfect concoction for that. To get started on Emily's highlights, I am taking that front top section using the arch of her eyebrows as a guide, and then pulling the hair completely away from her face, and then highlighting those baby hairs towards the face so that way it isolates the hair and gives me a nice clean working space. I'm applying the color from roots to ends right onto this hairline, and then tri-folding so that way it gives me a nice secure hold. Once I'm done with this foil, I'm then going to apply a second foil right behind this one, weaving it the same exact way, pulling the hair completely away from her face and then pulling that hair forward, again, isolating the hair so I have that nice clean working space, applying the color roots to ends. Once I'm done applying those first two highlights, I'm then going to take a quarter inch subsection and then weave right on top, creating a little bit of depth right behind that. But this time I'm going to apply the color a little differently. I'm going to apply the color a few inches away from the root and then just slightly feather it right on up, creating more of a rooted effect, which will give the low maintenance effect that she's wanting. I'll apply one more highlight right behind this one, still having a small one quarter inch subsection and applying the color in a rooted effect. For my application of my foils on the sides, I'm gonna do the same exact thing by pulling the hair away from the face and then weaving the hairs that I want to highlight towards the face. Taking my comb and foil, I'm just gonna get a nice snug fit and then I'm also going to apply the color from roots to ends right here on the front. Since these are really tiny baby hairs, I'm using my thumb and pointer finger to help hold the foil in place. So this is really key in making sure we get a nice snug and secure foil. I'm gonna place another foil right behind that foil, doing the same thing, pulling the hair away from the face and weaving the hair towards her face, isolating the hair for a nice clean working space and applying the color from roots to ends. Since this area is a little bit more finer and thinner, I'm just going to take a baby light right on top by taking a micro slice and then weaving the hair. For this last foil, I'm gonna apply the color in a more rooted effect, just a few inches down, and then stroking the color right on up. Now that the front hairline is completely foiled, I'm gonna start in the back section by taking a baby light in that diagonal forward and then brick layering a horizontal section that meets the front foil to the back foil. And I'm gonna continue in this pattern until I get towards the parietal ridge. All the highlights will remain the same, so they're all baby lights. 
that are rooted with a nice saturation towards the mids and ends and then feathered up. And all of my foils are tri-folded so that way I don't get any of the saturated product that's on the ends towards that rooted area. Now you'll know when you're done applying to the back and to the sides once you hit that parietal ridge, which means the last foil that you do should meet at the arch of the eyebrow right on the sides. And then you can get ready to apply your very top foils, which will all be diagonal back. I'm still taking a baby light throughout each of the sections, but taking wide subsections. So each of my subsections are about an inch wide. That part's completely up to you, but I applied her highlights in this way because she's really looking for a subtle look with a low maintenance effect. Now that we're all done putting in her foils, we're gonna process her for 30 minutes, which will give just enough time for that nice lift and deposit all in one step. And then we're gonna get ready to do her final style. The best part about doing highlights with color is that there's no toning involved. So I'm just gonna remove her foils and then shampoo her out with Kenra Platinum Prime Shampoo and Conditioner. And then I'm gonna get ready to do her final style with Perfect Blowout and Moisturizing Oil from Kenra. And here's the final result on how to do low maintenance highlights using all Kenra color. So just to recap, we went in with equal parts of 6A and 8ROM with equal parts 30 volume developer and then processed her for 30 minutes. And then shampooed her out with Kenra Platinum Prime Shampoo Conditioner and did her final style with Kenra Perfect Blowout and Moisturizing Oil. So I really hoped you enjoyed this video tutorial and if you did, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and I hope to see you guys next time.